Russians fear that Ukraine may cross Dnipro. Russian pro-war bloggers have expressed concern that Ukrainian forces may be able to cross the Dnipro River in Kherson Oblast, according to the daily report from the Institute for the Study of War. Russian mill bloggers have seized on recent Ukrainian activity on the east bank of Kherson Oblast to call for an increased presence of small river vessels and equipment in the Dnipro River to prevent further Ukrainian advances. Russian mill bloggers appealed on the 2nd of July to the heads of the Dagestan and Tatarstan republics, Astrakhan Oblast, Krasnodar Krai and Primorsky Krai to send boats confiscated from poachers to the Kherson Oblast frontline, specifying that 10 regiments and brigades of the southern military districts, Nipra grouping of forces, sorely needs the vessels. Dagestan Republic head Sergei Melikov responded to the mill blogger appeal on the 3rd of July and ordered Dagestan to solve the issue of transferring confiscated poaching boats to Russian forces. The ISW said, according to the ISW, one Russian mill blogger called for the resurrection of the Nipra flotilla, a special military river unit that was active in the 1735 to 1739 and 1787 to 1792 Russo-Turkish wars, the Russian Civil War and World War II. The mill blogger claimed that a resurrected Nipra flotilla could significantly ameliorate the position of Russian troops in the Kherson direction and that this grouping could be reinforced with simple civilian use boats. The overall anxious mill blogger response to recent Ukrainian activity across the Dnipro River suggests that many Russian mill bloggers fear Ukraine's ability to cross the river and believe that the current command of the Nipra grouping has not sufficiently prepared its troops for that potentiality. The ISW added, it is noted that the ISW previously reported on the 2nd of July that Russian mill bloggers had accused the Russian Defense Ministry of failing to provide Russian troops on the East Coast with the necessary boats and other equipment and has now redirected their requests for additional logistical support to Russian regional leaders.